Today you're learning about the circumcenter, and on a further video we'll talk about the orthocenter. The circumcenter is the intersection point of the perpendicular bisectors of a triangle. Okay, so perpendicular and bisector, they both are very important words uh, in terms of describing what we have. What we want to do is take and find, uh, when, when we bisect something, we're cutting it in half. So on a side of a triangle, we want to cut the triangle in half, or, or the side length of our triangle in half, and then we want to make a line meet that side length at a 90 degree angle, and that's where perpendicular comes in. So we're trying to find the lines that cut the side lengths of the triangle in half and meet them at a 90 degree angle. So when we're cutting something in half, we might be looking at midpoint, if something's perpendicular, we're looking for things that have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. So that's really important in understanding how this is going to work. Now, the intersection point of the perpendicular bisectors is a point that is equidistant. Equa is like equal and distant is like distance. So it's the point that is equal distance or equidistant from the three vertices of the triangle. It's the center of the circle that passes through all three vertices of the triangle. So your job in here in this investigation is to construct the three perpendicular bisectors of the triangle. Now I've already done that here. Um, so what I did is I took my side length. Let's look at the bottom side of this triangle from here to here. What I did is I measured it and then I figured out where the midpoint was. So I measured, figured out the midpoint, and that made this side, or that half equal to the other half. And then I drew a line very carefully. I tried to draw my, or use my ruler, uh, and make it meet at a 90 degree angle to the side length. And then I drew a line there. And then I repeated the process for each side. So I looked at this vertice and this vertice, and I said, I measured it. I figured the midpoint was right about here in terms of length, making these uh, halves equal to each other. And then I drew a line such that it was as perpendicular to the original side length that I could make it. And then I did that a third time over here. I measured between my three vertices, my two vertices, found where the middle point was. That makes these two equal to these. And then I took my ruler and as best as I could, I drew a line that was perpendicular to that side length. So I just kind of match up the tick marks on my ruler. I line it up with this line and then my ruler sits across this way. So if I have my tick marks to my ruler, tick, 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 I want to line up one of those tick marks with my, my side length so I can make a perpendicular line. Now these all intersect at a point right here. Just like the um, medians intersected at a, at a point, the medians will intersect at a point inside your triangle. The circumcenter might be inside the triangle, but it might be outside like this one. Now for the second step of this, use a compass to verify that the circumcenter is the center of the circle that passes through the three vertices of the triangle. So I took my compass, which unfortunately was kind of wobbly, but I put the point of my compass here and then I extended it so that the pencil part was going th um, through one of the vertices. So I had my compass kind of going from here to here and then the pointy part is at the circumcenter right here and I drew that arc and you'll notice the arc I drew with my compass pass through this vertex and this vertex as well. That means that the circumcenter um, is equal distance from the three vertices that we have in our triangle. These green lines that I just drew, these ones here are radii, radiuses, radii for our circle if its center was at the circumcenter. So circumference, circum, circumference, the three vertices will pass through the circumference of the circle and this point that we found is the center of the circle. So that's how I help myself remember that circumcenter is the point that's equal distance from the three vertices of a triangle. Now this can be important again in design because perhaps you have um, 
three exits to a parking lot. One, exit two, ex exit three, and you want a spot that's equal distance from those ex exits. Maybe you want to put a light standard there and, and shine into the three exits, uh, make it visible so that it's equal distance. Um, the circumcenter would be important to find. Okay, so below here we have for the triangle ABC with these vertices, you are going to figure out where the circumcenter is. Now it works similar to the long process of the centroid, not the short process. This one does not have a shortcut, so don't think I shouldn't bother doing this because yet yeah, you have to do this. Unfortunately, it is a long process. So um, we take a look at what I have here. Now hopefully, you might want to put me on pause and try this on your own first. That would be a good idea and back up the video so that you're not actually looking at it or turn your iPad over and uh, see if you can figure out where that intersection point is, where that circumcenter is going to be. Okay, I have graphed my three points. They're the same three points that I had on, I think, on the previous uh, centroid example. The three points are here. But this time I'm not drawing the medians, I'm drawing the perpendicular, or sorry, uh, the perpendicular bisectors. So I still need my midpoints that I had found before. And if I want the perpendicular bisector of side AB, the midpoint here is at negative 1, 3. So my midpoint of AB is at negative 1, 3. The slope of A to B, so the slope of A to B would be that I'm rising 1, running 4, rising 1, running 4, or you could say you're rising 2 and running 8, which reduces to 1 quarter. The slope of my perpendicular bisector has to be the negative reciprocal. So the negative reciprocal of 1 quarter is negative 4. So I take my midpoint. I need the equation of the, the perpendicular bisector. Here's a point that lies on the perpendicular bisector. Here is the slope of the perpendicular bisector. I'm putting that into y equals mx plus b, and I solved for my y-intercept. And if you look at that, it does look like my y-intercept of that perpendicular bisector is at negative 1. So that's my first equation, my first perpendicular bisector. And then in the next part, I've asked you to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of side BC. So BC is from here to here. If we look at where the midpoint is, the midpoint, um, we can either look at it through the graph, or you could calculate it if you don't have the graph. The midpoint is at negative 2, negative 1. The slope of B to C, so rise versus run, would be negative 6 over 6, which would equal negative 1. And then that gives us, um, our slope is negative 1. The negative reciprocal of that is positive 1. Negative 1 over 1 flips over, changes sign, becomes positive 1 over 1, which is just 1. And then I found the equation of the line by finding the y-intercept. So my equation of that line is y equals x plus 1. So here's my equation number two. And then I want to find that point of intersection, that point right here. So I did a solving the system, walked through that, po uh, that process that you should have uh, figured out from the last unit, and my circumcenter would be at negative two-fifths comma three-fifths.